I was about 10 years old, my mom took me to Massey Hall to see uh, the great master Andre Segovia. And he sat down and he played and it was beautiful. He filled that hall with music. And I remember looking at him thinking, that's what I want to do when I'm 76 years old. I don't know if I chose the guitar or if the guitar chose me. When I was two, apparently I had a little toy guitar and then I used to sing Guantanamera and, you know, walk around the apartment. And so, you know, that's probably where the love of that, that sound came from. Our job as artists is to break the rules and to keep breaking the rules. There are some artists who come along and they want to be the best at a particular genre. They want to kind of own that genre and say, yes, I am the greatest of this style. But I think in order to do that, you kind of get stuck in that style, and I don't want to be that person. For me, what I really love is the whole thing. I, the guitar is just one voice in the music that I make. I write the music, I arrange it, I mix it, I produce it. For me, that the music is what I do. The guitar part is just one thing. I think of myself as an artist. Your job as an artist is to find the thing that's going to move people, that's going to connect and is going to be emotionally honest to that piece of music. And, and that's what I'm always in search of. And, you know, when people sort of like my technique or whatever, I sort of feel like, well, that's, that's kind of beyond the point. He's a very clever writer. He's a great performer and um, he definitely has his own voice and his own style. So, you know, and I really admire artists who march to their own drum and Jesse definitely does that. If you don't keep changing what you're doing, uh, you just become part of the past. Mm -hmm.